Okay, here we go. Welcome to another Facebook Friday. Happy Friday, everybody, for Lychee Friday. How is everybody doing? I feel like, and I know they say this every single time I miss a week, like I feel like I haven't been here in forever. So hopefully you guys are all doing well. I was running around, um, yeah, trying to like make sure I'm really ready to go. And I know I've forgotten something. And hopefully it's only one thing and not many things, but Hopefully you guys all had a great holiday weekend last weekend. Thank you for giving me a pass on uh, last Friday. I kind of kept going back and forth. That's why I didn't say anything sooner. Um, and then at the last minute I was like, oh, I just don't think I'm gonna be able to get myself prepared for everything. So hey Barb, hey Nancy, so glad you guys can join me. Hey Jamie. So yeah, hopefully, like I said, you had uh, a great 4th of July, a good holiday weekend with family and friends and relaxation and hot, 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 right? So I think we're gonna get a little respite from that. Um, basically now so that's very lovely isn't it so yeah I've got lots to tell you guys about I'm like still rubbing the lotion in my hands too as I'm getting all ready to go so we are gonna go live with our product of the week this week this awesome super duper cute the whale uh, whale of a time is that what it's called yeah whale of a time sweet so we have the cute whale done stamp set we've got some fun sentiments in there i'll maybe show that again when it's not backwards but fun imagery um you know sea life hey philomena and then this fun punch that works with the stamp set coordinates with the um little whale there as well so yeah we're gonna have some fun making projects we'll make two projects in a little bit with our whale done bundle part of the whale of a time suite right and what else um oh well don't forget i will um put all the details everything that you need to know about the projects that we make on facebook live hey sharon um i will have those on my blog i'm going to try to do it right i'm going to get done with facebook live i'm going to get everything finished up posting and then i got to run to class next so it's just been craziness and i'm tammy hello i'm missing what you're saying so i'm gonna i'm gonna have to come back later after class and i'll be able to respond to everybody's comments so please know i love to get your comments um and usually i can sit down right afterwards but today is not gonna that's not gonna be the case so anyway yeah I've, i'm already like i'm running a million miles an hour can you tell because <laughs> i want to make sure i show you guys everything but still get everything posted and be down to class on time so I do this to myself every like second Friday of the month. I'm always like, why am I doing Facebook Live the same day I have class? Because I want to, but it's always a little bit of craziness. So um, let's see what else. Yeah. Oh, bonus days. You guys, have you guys been taking advantage of bonus days, right? So now through, I got to check my notes because it's a little, it's not the end of July. It's now through August 3rd. Hey, Sunday. Hello. Welcome. You get to get a $5 bonus day coupon for every $50 that you spend. So spend $100, you're going to get two coupon codes, 150, three coupon codes, and so on. They will email the coupon codes to you as soon as you put your order in, as soon as you finish it up. So make sure you use a good valid email address um, on your customer profile, because that's the only way um, you're gonna get those bonus day coupons as they email them to you. And then keep them in a safe place, like however you organize your email, right? But keep them somewhere safe so that then starting on August 4th, it would be between August 4 and August 31, you can redeem, redeem those uh, bonus day coupons. So that's a fun little thing. We do this usually um, every July or so. Um, so it's just a fun little promotion that we do um, to kind of incent you to make some fun purchases out of the new annual catalog, right? I'm still calling it new. We've had it for all of like a little over a month. So it still feels really new to me. And then actually as demonstrators, we are able to pre-order right now out of the holiday. Well, they're not even calling it. I'm going to probably keep calling it the holiday catalog because that's what I think of it as. It's the other mini catalog. <clears throat> so August to December, customers will be able to order out of there. We're not even talking about that yet because I haven't honestly even gotten anything out of that catalog yet. But it's coming, so we'll, we'll be prepared for it when it does come. Hey, Sally. Hello. Welcome. So glad you guys can all pop on here with me. Um, let's see. Oh, I want to show you guys. So we... Um, the buy one get one free event, which feels like forever ago, but it was actually um, the last time I did Facebook Live, now that I'm thinking about it. I made these cute treats for everybody that came to the buy one get one free and new catalog kickoff event. So I have to show you. Um, it's like a little slider box and it's got the little let's celebrate you with the fun, this spriggy thing that I put literally on everything. The little sunflower, that little um, bumblebee gingham ribbon, and then some of that fun flowers were at for every season designer series paper. Sally, I think you can order catalogs. I would check on the Stampin' Up! website. Um, I'm about positive you can, which makes me think I should make myself a note to do that also. 
Um, yeah, or you could always call Stampin' Up! if you're not sure. So, hey, Betty, thank you for joining. So, okay, so then, like I said, it's a little slider box. And I put, because I wanted to send these out, I actually made these as, like, um, with the in-color paper. I made these also as club member treats last month. And I learned my lesson to not send chocolate, but I thought I could put Smarties in a box. Oops, that's why it's not sliding very well. So, anyway, it slides a little bit better this way. I'm trying to show you here. But, yeah, so fun little. I did this pattern and... I, me, we, Lily did all of my die cutting, all of my die cutting, and actually I think she put most of the boxes together for me too. So she was a huge helper in getting those fun little boxes made. So I had to show you guys those because I think they're pretty darn cute. Um, let's see, are we ready? Yeah, we are ready to do our first drawing already, okay? So you guys know the drill, right? You got your name entered into my little bucket, my little um, basket here, into the drawing for, I'll tell you that in a sec, if you shared the Facebook Live video anytime between when we did Facebook Live back on June 26th, I think it was, and last night at about 10 o'clock when I prepped for Facebook Live, your name went in the drawing, right? As many times as you share, you get that many entries in there. Hey, Susan, glad you can join us. Also, if you're new to me, and have not signed up for my email list, make sure you do that because that is my number one way of communicating with people about what's going on with Stampin' Up. Thank you, Philomena. I love those little boxes too. Um, what's going on with Stampin' Up? What's going down at the stamp studio here locally? What I have going on like online? It's just the best way to know about everything that's going on. I try to post everything on our Facebook group too, um, but email is usually my best form of communication. So sign up for my email list if you haven't done that yet and you get your name in the drawing as well for we are giving away the beautiful, hey Connie, hello, how are you? These are the gorgeous, they're called the Elegant Faceted Gems. And they're, you can't even get the beauty of them, I don't think, I'm trying to zoom in really close. The faceted part is what I love about them. So they're um, just all sparkly, they kind of look like a diamond. This is kind of a, um, now I'm trying to remember what they're calling. Well, I think this is white, this is probably some kind of petal pink, and then this one's clear, and they've got like smaller sizes and larger sizes. So anyway, this is what we're gonna draw for right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, like I said, I've shared the video, sign up for my email list every single week. Share as many times as you would like, and you get your name in the drawing, okay? All right, I especially love if you share um, the video to any stamping groups you're a part of because that's a great way for me to network and meet new friends, new stamping friends, right? So I really, 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 really appreciate that when you guys do that for me. Okay, so here we go. The winner is, I got one, oops, oops, I dropped it. Sorry, whoever that was, maybe I'll get it again. That's bad, isn't it? Okay, here we go. <laughs> Sally, I hope that wasn't the one I just dropped, right? Miss Philomena, congratulations. Philomena is the winner of the Elegant Faceted Gems. So Philomena, I will get those sent out to you. Okay, I'll put that aside there. I gotta find my entries for the next one. We'll do that in just a couple minutes. So in the meantime, I have to give a shout out to one of my downline members, Charlene Mogg, just promoted, I think it was the very last day of June, she got a recruit which helped her promote to silver. She had the sales. Uh, you have to have like $3,600 in like rolling 12 month sales. So that's a lot, right? So she was doing really good with her sales. And then you're welcome, Philomena. And then she just got a new recruit as part of the recruiting special that we had in June. Um, so she promoted to silver. So congratulations, Miss Charlene. She is gonna get a silver necklace or a keychain from Stampin' Up, which is beautiful. And also 5,000 flex points from Stampin' Up. And then I reward huge at silver. You get a $75 shopping spree from me. So I think she's already getting some new holiday catalog product um, for her shopping spree. So that's pretty awesome. So congratulations, Miss Charlene. That was fun to see you do that. So yeah, and it's just always neat to see everybody really kind of working hard and sharing what they love with others, which is really what this is all about, right? So, okay, so let's do, I think, I'm like looking around at my table, trying to check my notes. You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to show this cute card. Um, Sue sent it to me. She um, participated in the designer series paper sampler 
that I, that I did a few weeks ago, and she sent me her check in this beautiful card, and I have to show you guys because I thought it was so pretty. So I love, this was gingham paper that we had available a little bit ago, and then I don't even have that ornate die set, so this was really fun for me to be able to actually see that kind of live in person on a card. And then the cute little rubber boots with the um, flowers and spriggy nests kind of growing up out of them. I think that's such a cute idea, right? So I'm zoom back a little bit. So thank you, Miss Sue. I I truly appreciate she stamped on the um I won't show her address but I love I love doing this too so she stamped in the corner I thought it was so like springy and flowery and beautiful summery right with the little flowers and then even it was like she coordinated even the stamp went with everything else on the card so very very cute and thank you Miss Sue for your card I appreciate that oh you know what I forgot to do I moved on after we did the one drawing. I got so excited about Charlene. I forgot to mention on next Friday's Facebook Live, we are going to give away these awesome, I haven't even opened this package, so maybe we'll do that right now, the square vellum doilies. You get, I think that says 24. I don't know. My eyes are like, I, I think I need to get back to the eye doctor. They're getting worse. You know, it happens with age, right? Okay, so I'm going to pull one out because I'm curious. Oh, yeah, they are. So they're kind of that, it's like a slippery, slidey material almost, but aren't those so pretty? Okay, so I've seen them kind of just, you know, you could even cut them. I kind of can see like a star kind of image right there too. If you just wanted to cut those edges out, you could have some fun with the doilies or just keep them intact, right? So beautiful, huh? So this is what we will give away on next Friday's Facebook Live for sharing the video and for signing up for my email list, okay? Next Friday, woo hoo hoo. Fridays are awesome, aren't they? <laughs> so I'm a little wound up, can you guys tell? Hey, Nikki, hello, so glad you can join us. Yeah, I'm gonna, whoo, I probably won't calm down, sorry. Yeah, I know, Sally, I need glasses. They are pretty too, aren't they, Philomena? Okay, so let's talk about our next drawing, right? So you got your name in this drawing. If you ordered through me, spent at least $30, your name went in the drawing to win, this is the 2020-2022, the In Color Designer Series Paper Pack. So you get, I don't know how many sheets are in here. It says 40, so 10 sheets of each of our five colors. You can't really even see those colors there, can you? Right, but anyway, we have shown this paper quite a bit, so I'm not gonna open it because I want it to be intact to whoever I send it to, right? And if they bump their order up to over $50, they either got the free embellishment or um, the Demo Design Dream Team PDF Tutorial. So some people ordered in June, some people ordered in July. So they might've gotten the June tutorial or embellishment or the July tutorial or embellishment if their order was over $50. But regardless, if you spend at least $30, your name's in the drawing right now for the In Color Designer Series Paper Pack. And you also get the projects that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live too. Okay, so here we go. We will do our drawing now. Oh yeah, you had to get glasses. I know, Sally. I think it pretty much happens to everybody these days, doesn't it? Okay, so the winner is Miss Sandra Johnson, all the way out in Seattle area, Washington State, right? So congratulations, Miss Sandra. I will be sending this paper back out to you. Yes, congratulations. Awesome, okay. Let's see, I'm trying to keep everything organized because you know when I leave to go to class, I, I, I'm just gonna leave everything right here the way it is. Craft, what, what are we calling it? Crafter math will be <laughs> in full evidence like as I walk out the door to go to class, I'm sure. So, okay, so this week, if you put an order in online using the host code that's always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com or when we tip the um, camera down, I'll show you the host code too. So use that host code, order through me at stampinup.com. $30 gets your name in the drawing to win. Look at this super cute, the Zany Zebras stamp set. Isn't this so, I haven't even played with this one yet. This is one of those, you know, I say this a lot, right? I'm like, oh, I bought it for Facebook Live and I'm like, oh, maybe I wanna keep it and play with it, but I'll get another one. So in the meantime, I'm gonna give this one away. Next Friday, we've got some fun sentiments. Ooh, and look at the cute little, sorry, you guys can't even see that little party hat right there, right? So we've got, it's time to celebrate, wild about you, that I should have been able to pick up, happy birthday. Um, ooh, kick up your heels, that's cute, right? And then, ooh, you party animal. Oh, I love that one. And then those cute little zebras. So this is what we will draw for on next Friday's Facebook Live if you put an online order in through me, which I truly appreciate. I love, I love your orders basically because that helps me, helps me get paid for what I'm doing here, which, you know, like I, I, I say sometimes, right? It's nice to get paid for what you're doing, right? Yes, and they are adorable zebras, aren't they, Miss Philomena? 
Okay, I am racing through things. Take a deep breath, take a deep breath. Also, let me show you guys. So we have the, dee -dee. ooh, this is a big one too. I was like, why is it so thick? Because July's Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial is huge because it's all a bunch of 3D projects. For example, this was my little 3D project, and this is actually my club member treat for this month. So if you're in club, maybe I'm gonna be spoiling the surprise, but you'll be either receiving one of these in the mail, hopefully it stays intact. I did what I could to package them up nicely. Um, anyway, but you can learn how to make this by putting your online order in of at least $50, and you can get this tutorial for free. So let me see, I don't know if we can, I guess we'll go from the back, right? So can you guys see? You're probably not gonna be able to see too much, but you guys kind of get the idea. Front and back, tons and tons of detail, lots of pictures, tell you exactly how to put these little 3D projects together. You're getting like a very little picture. I must have flipped from the wrong side. There's one, right? So anyway, awesome tutorial. Yours free with the $50 order, or if you're in my downline, you're, if you're one of my Inkspired Stampers, you automatically get this tutorial for free. And if you wanna get it for free every month, just buy the starter kit through me and you can do that, okay? They get them for free every single month. The other option too, if you don't wanna get the tutorial with your over $50 order, this is our free embellishment for, this is July. <laughs> yes, these are the super cute. These are the little butterfly, what are they calling them? Yeah, butterfly gem. So these are in last year's in colors. Yes, Miss Sally. I emailed it out to everybody back at the beginning of July, you know, all of last week. If you don't have it, let me know and I will send it to you again, okay? All right, so that's that, that's that, that's that. I'm getting hot. No AC, ladies. It's not good. I should have brought the fan over because I'm like getting all excited about things. And I just realized I didn't put any lip gloss, lip gloss on today. You know, Dina, she, she's like the lipstick queen. I would dare never, ever, ever to do that in front of you guys. Although it is kind of a good mirror, but no, I would not be doing that. <laughs> she does a really good job too, but that, that would not, I wouldn't be able to do it. Okay, um, so you guys, I think we are ready to turn the camera down. Okay, so turn your heads away for a sec. We're flying through the air and I'm gonna show you some more fun things and then we will do our stamping. Oh boy, sorry, is that gonna stay? I gotta adjust something here for a sec. It feels like it's not tight enough. Okay, hopefully you stay. <laughs> okay, I'm like really worried. Okay, we're flipping. Okay, all right, we're in business. So here's our host code for July, the RK2QAGXZ. That's what you're gonna wanna use to put your online orders in this month. Um, let me, oh, hold on, you know, checking the notes. So, oh, I know what I want to tell you guys about. So we have an awesome, super cute class to go this month. You may have seen me post about it called the Whale of a Time Class to Go. So we're going to scoot this up and out of the way just a little bit. So you guys know my class to go kits, we pretty generally always make four projects and you're going to get to make two of each of them, right? Featuring the Whale Done Stamp Set and the Whale Builder Punch. So option number one, let me show you the cards first, and then we'll tell you about the options, right? So if you have any questions about the class to go, let me know, but this is the idea. You would make two of each of these cards. We got that super cute one, we got this fun little Whale Done. How about thanks a ton, and you're kind of a big deal, right? So you would, again, make two of each of those cards. Option number one includes the bundle, so the stamp set and the punch. Remember, you're gonna do your own stamping and punching, so you wanna make sure to get these if you don't have them. So don't pick option number two unless you're a demonstrator and you're gonna order these yourself, get your discount, completely understand that, okay? So option number one is the bundle. It includes the full package of the Whale of a Time Designer Series paper. I'm gonna show you that more in just a minute when we make our other projects. And you get a full bolt, and apparently I did not bring that over, but of that beautiful, you see the pool party sheer ribbon, I love. So, oh, it's beautiful, gorgeous, just crinkly, fun ribbon. You actually get the ribbon for free in option number one, right? You also get the PDF tutorial. I think that's it. So the bundle, the DSP, the ribbon, the tutorial ribbon is free. It's $61 
for option number one. Then option number two is if you already have or are going to order yourself the bundle, the stamp set and the punch, you get the paper, you get the ribbon, you get the tutorial that tells you how to put all the cards together. So option number two is $32. And then as always, option number one and number two, you can select porch pickup, there's obviously no shipping there, or it's $8 additional shipping if you do need the kit shipped to you, okay? Option number three is if you just want the tutorial, you're gonna do everything all on your own, you just wanna know how I made these cards, right? Colors, um, dimensions, what I did and what kind of order. Uh, PDF tutorial, always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, even after the RSVP deadline passes, right? It's always $15 whenever you would like it. Uh, oh, Nancy, you're asking. That's so funny. I just happened. I'm like blabbering on and I'm like, Nancy, Amy, do you sell the PDFs? Yes. Okay. So what you do, Nancy, go to my blog. So it's Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. And up in kind of like the top section, the little toolbar, one of them says PDF store. If you just click on that, then there are pictures. So this is going to be the first one. And then it's kind of in you know, most recent order backwards, if that makes sense. Um, but there are pictures of every single class to go that I've ever um, made available. And then if you click on the actual picture there, it takes you to the YouTube video. So you can see basically what I'm saying now about this one, about any of those previous to go kits. Um, and then basically just email me, whatever you would like, just email me. Um, I send you a PayPal link. They're $15 for any of them that you would like. And you can get any, any of them, as many of them, as far back as you can go. So they're all, again, on my blog at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, that was cute. That was perfect timing. Okay, so then let's see. Option number four, last option in this month's whale or whale of a time class to go. If you're in my downline, if you're an inspired stamper, you can get all the parts and pieces at cost to make two of each of these cards. It's just $12 to get all the make and take parts and pieces. Okay. Um, you just need to know RSVPs are due by Friday, July 24. And I think shipping is a little bit back on track. So my plan is to have everything shipped out no later than Wednesday, August 5th. Okay. So let me know if you have any questions. This is just such a cute uh, suite of products. You will love them. I assure you. Okay. Ooh, okay. I have to show you guys one more thing and then we're going to do our steam thing. And I need a sip of water. And I really wish that fan was closer. <laughs> okay. Do, do, do. What am I looking for? Oh, here we go. So I wanted to show you guys. This isn't like a super great visual, but I wanted you to kind of know what's been going on with our super summer giveaway. You kind of can see all these tokens in here, right? So, because I've kind of been telling you about this and I wanted to make sure everybody knew where, where you're at with things. So this is a, um, a fun giveaway that I'm doing this summer. Anytime from June 1st to August 31st, you get your name right here on these fun little tokens. So I punched out in all of our pretty ink colors. I stamped my little Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio um, stamp on there that we used to have. These that you could have um, personalized, loved those. I wish we still did that kind of thing. Anyway, so I put people's names on the back for all of these things. And, and I'm doing this, so basically I did it at the end of June. I went through anybody that attended an event, they got one entry in the drawing. Anybody that spent at least $50, you get two entries in the drawing. And that includes online orders, not just local orders. If you post a picture, and this is what I'm really encouraging you to do, because this is one of the easiest ones to do, post a picture of a project like I make on that week's Facebook Live. So for example, if you have made a project with the Whale Done Bundle, post it on our Facebook group. You make sure you use hashtag super summer giveaway and you're going to get two entries right in this drawing okay if you bring a guest to class you get two entries new a new guest somebody new that hasn't stamped with us before two entries into the drawing if you joined a club which includes so signing up for paper pumpkin is considered a club you get three entries or in color club also so if you join in color club you got three entries in the drawing here okay if you bought the starter kit which we had a, a number of people do that if you bought the starter kit through me you get five entries in this drawing and then also if you hold your own private party or class again another five entries in the drawing and i still have dates available in later in July and in August, if you're interested in having a little fun together at down at the stamp studio, I'll say, okay? So I just wanted to let everybody know 
because I was kind of not so great. Like I kind of, time got away from myself. Like at my first card class, I didn't have these ready. So I'm trying to make sure to communicate to everybody that yes, I got your name for if you attended the event, if you spent more than $50, everybody's names are in here. And I'm gonna keep going back and making sure that I have everybody's names and entries in there at the end of each month is what I'm finding is easiest. So I just had to update you guys on that, okay? All right, let me find my grid paper. Here we go. And we are ready to do our stamping. Okay, actually here, let's get this in view. Okay, and that one will be good right there for now. Okay, so let me show you the paper first because I think, and this is not even all of the patterns because I pulled out the ones that I need for my class to go kits. So for example, my downline, I give them all the parts and pieces so I always have to kind of put some stuff aside. Um, so I already pulled out some of them that we're using on the cards, but these are some of the others. So I have to show you. We'll just kind of flip front and back because those are the little whales right there, right? And then the turtles, like swimmy turtles. Got some of those. And then cool patterns too. Can you kind of see? It's a little distressed looking. Some pretty fun little seahorses. Some waves maybe. Some jellyfish. Pretty greenery there too, right? It's almost like, ooh, deep down in the in the water, more whales, you have to have some whales, right? More waves, the fishies, I've seen fun things done with these too. You can cut it and put it on a card front. It's really about the perfect size and you get all of that fun detail, right? And then another pretty pattern on the back and then kind of what, some like seaweed and then some little fishies. So that's not even all of it, like I said, but that kind of gives you an idea of the pretty paper that is in the Whale of a Time Designer Series Paper Pack. Okay, so let me show you. This is our first project that we are gonna do. Thanks a ton, and I had to use, so I didn't use um, Sandra's Elegant Faceted Gems, but I did use some of my own. Popped those on there too, because I did not get the sequins. So there's something for me, I hesitate a little bit sometimes with those sequins, because I love the adhesive on the back of them, and the sequins that went with this suite um, don't have the, um, uh, adhesive on the back of them. Plus, I'm pretty sure they're on back order right now, so it's kind of good that I didn't use them because you can't get them right away. Anyway, so let's go ahead. We're going to get started making our first project here. So let me kind of get things popped out here for us. Should just put that up there. Okay, so let me tell you about sizes of things. Do I have room? Okay, so we have this is Pretty Peacock. I was drawing a blank on the name. Pretty Peacock card base, right? Along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half, and along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? Then we have, what else do we have? These are all just extra pieces that we're gonna use for our stamping and die cutting. Some Whisper White, uh, Pretty Peacock, and Pool Party cardstock there. But the other measurement pieces that you need are these guys right here. So we have, Whisper White, this goes on the inside, my standard four by five and a quarter. Goes right inside there, with a little bit of stamping on it, okay? Then also, the pool party, again, measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And if you're not like paying attention and you want the details, all of this info is on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com after Facebook Live is done. This piece of designer series paper made, measures three and seven eighths by five and one eighth. And this is another fun, Actually here, so I pulled these out in case I need to make more cards for you if you put your online order in, but that's the full sheet. And then there's the other kind of a coral look, right? So I cut that piece down right there. Okay, I think that's all you guys need to know about sizes and things. So let's do, we're gonna do our punching and our die cutting. So let's grab the big shot. We will do that first. I mean our die cutting machine. Not our big shot any longer. Haha. <laughs> Okay, so we need, ooh, where is that? Yep, right here, okay. So we're using the stitched shape dies, the largest circle. I've already popped it in the back here. So we are, normally I stamp and then die cut, but sometimes, and this is gonna be one of those cases, I wanna make sure I have my stamp right where I want it. So we're gonna die cut first, and then we're gonna stamp, okay? Let's actually that, scoot that baby out of the way. And, okay, let's see. So we've got this piece. We don't need that anymore. 
Oh, I know, this is what we need. We need our punch too. Okay, so we are going to punch our whale and you get a bunch of other pieces, but it's almost easiest because every time I don't get all of them, then there's something I wish I had and I didn't get. So I need this piece and I need that piece. And I think everything else we don't need. Okay, and then for the blue, we need, oh yes, Sharon, good idea. Use bonus coupons to get the new die cutting machine. I love that, what a great idea. Okay, now I just need these pieces right here. So we're gonna pop those. And like I said, you kind of get some extra, but that'll be all right. And then we need his belly. Let's see, how are we gonna do that? <laughs> I, need, I need that piece right there for his belly. I think I've got it in view. So again, you get some extra things you don't really need, but we do need that belly. Okay, there we go. I love that idea, Sharon. Now I wanna like get a million. Oh, and we need, that's so funny. We need that little dot right there too. Oh boy. What are the chances I'm gonna find that again later? Okay, let's see. I'm gonna be really careful. Okay, so here we go. We have our pretty peacock ink with our thanks a ton stamp. And I just want that right there up at the top. Okay. Oh, actually, we're gonna keep this open because we need, I'm gonna use my little scrap paper here. Which one's not as bad? Here, we'll go this way. Not on this piece, but we're gonna stamp some little like water speckly marks on our whale here. So again, with my pretty peacock ink, I'm just kinda, it's almost like he came up from the water, right? So we've got those. Now, let's see, we can scoot both of those out of the way. We need this little rubber, the silicone mat here because we're gonna kinda put our whale together. So. There's just a little bit of kind of detail when you're putting your whale together. Let me find, okay, so trying to get right down here. Oh, here's my other little piece. Ooh, and I need the white little eye or the blue eye. There it is. Okay, so let's do the belly first. So this piece is gonna go right on there. If I can get it set for you to see, right? So I'm gonna flip this over. We're gonna put a little bit of adhesive right on here, okay. Concentrating very hard, ladies. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna put the other little fin on, so that's gonna go, mm, yep, opposite way though. So I'm gonna put some adhesive on this and flip it over, and you can see how great this little mat is, right? The silicone mat, so that I don't get um, adhesive all over my work surface, I love that. Alrighty, we're gonna try this eye. I brought my, paper piercing tool because I might need it. I'm gonna try to use my, <laughs> my finger. You just gotta roll a little bit there, I just heard it. Let's see if we can do this, right? Pick that up and we're gonna put his eye right about there. Hey, that went way better than when I did this card the first time. Very, very happy <laughs> with how that worked out. Okay, so now we can put some adhesive on the back of our little whale buddy here, okay? We're gonna add him we need to leave room for his little, his water spouts, okay? So this one is gonna go there, so I wanna flip it over. I'm doing this as much for you as for me. <laughs> and then that one's gonna go like that, so I'm gonna flip it over the opposite way to put our adhesive on. Okay, so we've got that there, and we've got that there. All right, so this one, you guys can see, right? I'm so like, busy like super seriously concentrating i wasn't paying any attention to whether i was even in view but i think we're okay so isn't this cute the little water spouts so you probably you know that wasn't that difficult right you're probably not going to make a million of these but they're so cute i love the little whale right so now i think we're good with oops both of those things we probably don't need those anymore so now we're going to put some Oh, this is the thing I forgot i knew there was going to be something now i'm like is there anything else i need to go grab dimensionals yep I'm like, keep looking, but no, I don't see him anywhere. Be right back. One moment, please. I would run if it wasn't so hot. Okay, here we go. Got my dimensionals. So we're going to just put a couple of dimensionals on the back of that guy. And I think that's good. Now, 
Actually, let's do, there's one more bit of stamping on my white piece that is over here. We're gonna stamp on the inside some of that blue, blue seaweed, I guess, in Pool Party. Blue Pool Party. Actually, I feel like maybe I kind of go off the edge, so. You know, I can keep this piece of grid paper for forever if I don't ever <laughs> get any messy on it, right? So we're gonna do that and that, and then I wanted one more right there. And maybe that right there. There, I kind of like that. So you see how I just um, stamped and then stamped again so you get the little bit lighter image on there too. Okay, cute, 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 because they're not all the same color, right? All right, so now we can, let's go ahead and put this on the inside. Oh, I forgot. I think I did bring my stamp and seal over. I kind of got hidden behind my uh, water bottle. So let's use that instead, right? Okay, so we're gonna put this on the inside. So I still have a bunch of snail left, so I'm still using that too, kind of interchanging. When Lily helps me, she's, because um, there is definitely a learning curve on this one that I'm still working on myself. I think the biggest thing is to not press. You have to, it's almost like you have to go slower, which slow, I don't do slow very well. Yeah, see how that, it's, then you have to advance it forward. I need to call Stampin' Up and get some more info on this. So maybe why we're gonna go back to snail if that keeps happening. There, we'll figure it out. I know, I think the thing is go slow. So I have a little bit of adhesive on my hands. So I'm just gonna do that right there. Okay, then we are gonna add a little more adhesive on our designer series paper. So, so cute, huh? I love just letting the DSP kind of do the work for you, as in just put the whole thing, whole darn thing right on the front of your card and it makes life super cute and fun and simple. <laughs> I, Betty, I love this entire suite too. It was funny because when I was trying to decide, um, you know, what my next class to go was gonna be and I happened to be flipping through the catalog and I was like, oh, and honestly it was the paper. The paper is what did it for me at first and then kind of putting everything together has been so much fun playing with it all. So I agree, I love this suite too. Okay, so now, like I said, you there are sequins, pretty sure they're on back order that are part of this suite. Um, oh, good. All right, Sharon, maybe you can post the links for us. <laughs> I could use some help. I think you were kind of telling me about maybe the go slow. Yeah, I have not had a chance to educate myself. I'm going to be super honest with you guys about that. So you want to be careful because a lot of times with these um, things, I just grab it and I have had a tendency when I'm just grabbing it like with my fingers um, that I don't get underneath it enough to get the glue dot on there. And then I get really annoyed because then I got to dig the glue dot off and put it down and then find this thing and put it on there. It's just kind of frustrating. So be careful is what I'm saying. I would use something. I love my, my uh, snips really. One of the easiest things you can use, I think, to get them on there. So just added a little, uh, you know, just a few water drops to our card. Thanks a ton. Super cute, huh? I hope you guys like that one. Now, let me see. Actually, you know what? Because we haven't cleaned our stamps um, with each other in a while, right? And I'm trying to just, oops, be so efficient here. So I can put all this away and run down to the stamp studio. This basically what I'm looking at. Okay, there. All right, so we got those. That was easy cleaning too, right? Because I think I use, I think I use one of these stamps again. All right, so let me scoot stuff out of the way. So we don't need that. We do need the punch. Put these things there. Lots of little bits though. With those builder punches, you always end up with extra bits for sure. Okay. So card number one, right? Now we're gonna move on to card number two. Someday, right? Once I, I keep like flitting around here. Oh my goodness, okay. Sorry guys, I guess I just need to take a moment. You know, it happens. Okay. Oh, you know what I forgot to do too? I got a couple of swaps. Mm. Angle upward when you, oh, all right. So it is a little bit maybe more like angle upward when you end and pull straight up. Okay, I'm used to doing the check mark with the fast views, but it sounds like you do this and then lift straight up. Angle up, angle upward when you end and pull straight up. I'll have to try that. Okay, we'll, we'll work on that. 
In the meantime, here are a couple of cute cards, uh, swap cards that I received recently using this whole whale of a time suite. So she actually, I think she might have even sponged. You can kind of see a little bit there. So the seabed embossing folder, I'm gonna show you that on my card next too. And then cute how she did this too, right? Kind of almost looks like postage stamps. And then more of that beautiful pool party sheer ribbon. She did have the sequins, it looks like, so she put a couple of them on there. And I'm sure they would be fabulous on here. I almost felt bad, you know, almost felt bad that I didn't have them to use because then I kept putting little sparkly things everywhere. Um, so you kind of need them. You need like a little something fun. And then this was a cute one too. You are a big deal, right? <laughs> I love that. And the cute little whale. So she even used some bling there too. So a couple of fun projects there. Okay. So now this is our next card that I'm going to show you guys. And I loved, so the other one was maybe more about the punching and kind of building the, the whale using your um, builder punch. This one, I really wanted to show you all the fun details with the embossing folder and with the stamping that you can do. So this is what we're going to do next. All right. So let me again, tell you dimensions. So this time we have a pool party. No, no, no. This is Pacific Point, excuse me, Pacific Point cardstock. Again, along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half, and along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches. Okay, so there's our card base. And then we have, I did them both the same, Just Jade, our, our new kind of dusty green in color, so pretty. Four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then our Whisper White piece, I did the same size on the outside and on the inside because we're doing this at class today. And I know if I have two different sizes, somebody is going to stamp on the bigger one that I would intend for the inside. So we just did them both the same size. So there's no confusion. So you need two pieces of Whisper White, three and three quarter by five inches. Okay. And then just some scrap paper for the cute little whale done sentiment there. Okay. All right. So we're going to do our stamping first on both of these. We will do, let's do the coral on that one and kind of get that done before I forget to do it, is what I really want to say. Okay, oh, here's the ribbon too. You can barely see it, right? Pool party sheer, it's beautiful. I love, it sounds like an organza. It makes beautiful bows. I love that kind of ribbon. Okay, we're gonna get our stamps and our ink. We'll do that one. So we want our coral first, because we're gonna stamp our coral on this piece. So we're gonna open that guy up. Okay, so I'm just gonna stamp one right there and one right there, okay? So we've got the inside piece done. Now we're gonna flip that back open and we're gonna do the outside. I'm just gonna keep that open because I'm gonna need that in a moment. We're gonna start with our Just Jade ink and kind of the seaweed. And you're gonna do a bit of stamping here with this one. Do that maybe there and there. And then we're gonna go there and maybe put that one right there. That's funny, that last time I stamped off, I don't feel like it did anything over here. So I'm gonna have to do it again. Let's do it again right now. There, get a little something going there. Okay, and we're gonna do one more there and one more there, okay? So I like that light and dark kind of look. I want one more, one more, one more right there. Okay, there. So that is our seaweed, I guess you would say. Let's pull our coral back in, calypso coral, and we'll stamp our coral right there. I did a teeny one right there, and maybe that one right there, okay? Now, actually, you know what I think I wanna do? Because this was really helpful for me. I had to do this card two times, and it was because I didn't like where I put my fish originally. So I stamped this and punched it out and laid it on here and then stamped around and I liked much better how that turned out. So let's kind of move off of this thing for a sec. We're going to grab our pool party ink and our whale. And where's my, here it is. <laughs> where's my scrap of white? Okay, so we're going to stamp our whale. Okay, and then I also am going to do my whale done, my sentiment, the whale done. We're going to do that one while we have our white paper out in, this is in Just Jade ink. Put that one down there. Okay, all right, so we've got that, we got everything. Okay, now let's do our, let's punch out our whale. And let's see, pop this in here. So you just have to kind of maneuver it around. Sorry, again, I'm like looking for myself and not for you guys. Okay. Mm. 
Is that good? I thought it was, and I almost punched, and then I'm like, no, I don't like it. Sorry, I'm being futzy here. Okay, so we only need the whale piece for this one. All those extra bits we can just get rid of. We're going to die cut that in a sec. Okay, so actually bring this back into place. I need to be looking at what I'm doing. So I want to put my whale maybe right about there. So now with my hello, Miss Vina, how are you? Glad you can join us. Okay, so now I want to stamp my fish. So we're going to do some swimming there, a little bit off the page there. Some coming in behind my dolphin. Let's see, hmm, maybe some right there. So we're kind of framing our, our, our whale, our whale, not our dolphin, our whale. There we go, okay? So I think that looks good. All right, I think we got everything. Now, let's actually, we'll put some dimensionals behind our whale. Oh, why did I not move that fan over here? I was kind of convinced that it wasn't gonna be as warm today, but it still feels really warm, ladies. Okay, so we've got our whale. We need to emboss this piece, and then we also need to die cut our whale done, okay? So we're gonna do both of those, and then we will finish putting this little baby together. Okay, so let's we'll do the die cutting first with the sentiment. Can we get that going there? Okay, yeah, that's this piece. <laughs> oh my, help me, ladies, help me. And... Where did it go? Oh, it is, huh, okay. So we're using an, a bunch of these other, <laughs> these are the super cute, the Hippo and Friends dies. And Sharon, if you're watching, I had not paid any attention to these dies until you mentioned them. So they go with the like Hippo and Friends stamp set that we're using on a class, a uh, card class, a card at class today. So we're using a couple of those. They're actually two more sizes of that uh, shape of a die. Um, but then they've got all these other labels too. So they, they've got the hippo and the friends and then they've got all these like other labels. And that's what Sharon was telling us at our meeting last month. Like you got to check out all the labels, even if you don't want the hippo stuff, you got to get these dies um, because of all the labels. So actually here, we're going to use, oh, are you going to be futzy? I guess I put that down in there too far. Oh my gosh. So this is the smallest little label right there. That's what we're going to use on this one. But I had to show you guys all of those dies. Now I have to put them on the counter so I remember to take them back <laughs> down to the studio because I want everybody to see them that were, that's coming to class today too. Okay, so here we go. We got our little, <laughs> like what's Sharon saying? I might have to scroll back. Oh, haha, <laughs> okay. Yes, they are great. Someday I'll see them. What, did you give them away or something, Sharon? I'm trying to figure out when you say someday I'll see them again. I thought you had more comments, but I don't see anything else. Okay, so we've got that one need that. Oh, I do need that in there though. Okay, so now we are going to do our embossing. Isn't this fun? The seabed embossing folder. So you kind of can see it there, right? It is beautiful. And I posted a card that I found on Facebook that um, did this embossing on a white piece of cardstock without any stamping and it was striking. So check that out. It's right here on our Facebook group if you haven't seen that yet. I can't remember who made the card, but it was beautiful. Okay, so we're just gonna pop that right in there. This is a 3D embossing folder, so you need that blue plate. Something seems a little askew here. Okay, I think we got it. It felt kind of tight the first time I did it. Oh, 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 I see. Because you're getting new um, flooring, aren't you, Sharon? She's saying her craft room is completely empty. Oh, yeah. I gotcha. Let me tell you, the bathroom remodels are done. That was a long process, ladies. I think it was close to four weeks. On and off, not like all day, every day, but enough just to like disturb pretty much every day. <laughs> and lots of, lots of chaos. And I'm not a big fan of chaos. So I'm really, really, plus they're, it's beautiful. The bathrooms are beautiful now and they were like, it was way overdue for that to happen. So very, very grateful that we did it. Very, 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 very grateful that it's done. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put some dimensionals behind. Oh, yes, um, Vina, yes, you can. You can just buy the punch. So, and that's always the case with the bundles. You can buy, so yeah, you can buy the stamp set separately, the punch separately, or you can get it in the bundle, and that's when you save 10% when you buy both of them together. They basically take the price of the punch, the price of the stamp set, they take off 10%, and that's the bundle price. But yeah, you can always get them separately too, okay? If 
you don't think you need the, the stamp set itself. Okay, so before I forget, let's run a little bit of ribbon. I just put a little strip. I had to give you guys, bows didn't seem quite appropriate on these cards, but I had to, I had to give you some ribbon somewhere. So I just kind of put a little strip. And I did, this was another thing I was being kind of anal about too. I wanted to like be particular about where my whale done went. And I think that looks good because I was covering up the fish and I didn't like it. Um, hold on, we got to put this piece on the Just Jade and then, then we will do that. Okay, so let's try. I think Sharon said, we'll kind of lift up. I'm still flicking because I can't not do that. But maybe that's it. That, that actually, okay, other than that, I want to go faster than that. That worked well. Okay, so again, we've got the ribbon right here. I'm gonna put that little baby. Okay, I think that looks good. I didn't like where I put it, like I said, so. I learned, which is good, right? Learn while I'm like making the card and not while I'm doing it with you guys. Okay. All right, I think I'm getting better. Thanks, Sharon. Maybe that's all I needed to know. Kind of tip it up. All right, I think we got enough adhesive on there too so we can add this baby right onto our card front. Miss Diana, welcome. Hello, hello. Glad you can be here with us. Okay, and you know, this is another little thing that I have when I use dimensionals because those are gonna end up sticking right to the ribbon and then it kind of like pops around. So we're gonna grab a couple of the little baby ones so that I can get it kind of on top and bottom of that ribbon. It seems like maybe a little bit of overkill, but it, it's just a little pet peeve that I have when, it, when these things aren't sticking to the card, when they're kind of popping around on top of the ribbon. So if we do that, I think we've got enough dimensionals on there. And then we have our whale for our whale done. It, yes, the colors are, yes, they're so fun, aren't they? I think this is another one of those pa paper packs when I was flipping through, cat through the catalog. I was like, ooh, good color combination. That's a good thing to think about too, ladies. If you're ever kind of stumped um, with a color, you know, not know where to begin, like what colors to put together, look through the catalog. They always have, you know, beautiful color combinations. And with the designer series paper, they even tell you exactly what the colors were that they used. So great inspiration there. Great kind of starting point if you need that, which I do sometimes. Okay, so now we're gonna add a few more of our elegant faceted gems. This time we are gonna put, where did I put them? I think you can just kind of sprinkle them around. That's kind of the fun of these, right? Maybe we'll put one, maybe one up there and one more, where are we gonna put it? Mm, maybe down here. So just to add a little bit more kind of dimension to your project. Okay, I think we did it, ladies. How about that? All right, maybe with some time to spare. Well, not much. I was hoping to, <laughs> not really, but I, I was, well, I definitely did keep it under an hour, which I don't always do. Oh, actually, hold on, not quite done. Let's put this on the inside of our card. All right, I think I'm getting the hang of it. All right, just lift up, lift up with a little bit of angle. Okay, now we're gonna be done. We're gonna pop this little baby right in there. Okay, and we are good. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed these projects. Thank you, Nancy, I appreciate that. I thought they were pretty fun too. This is just a really fun, cute, sweet to work with. I just have to say, right? Okay, so quick recap as always, so you guys just make sure you know what's going on, right? Scoot that down a little bit, there we go. Okay, so put your online order in, make sure this is the host code you're gonna wanna use. Spend at least $30, you're gonna get both of these projects that we just demonstrated, and you're gonna get the name, your name in the drawing to win the Zany Zebras stamp set, right? Then if you bump your order up to $50, as always, you can pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial for July or July's free embellishment, which are the super fun. You can maybe see them a little bit better. At least I can see them better now. The Butterfly Gems, okay? Ooh, plus you all also get your $5 bonus day coupon when you bump your order up to $50. So great time to put your orders in and enjoy some fun new products. So thank you guys so much. I missed you guys last Friday. It was kind of one of those 
just weird holiday weekend kind of thing. So thank you. I appreciate the pass on not having Facebook Live. Summer is going to be a little like that, I feel like. So anyway, but it's good to get out and enjoy the summer too. And hopefully you guys are doing that. So you guys have a great weekend. Uh, stay cool and maybe dry wherever you are, although the rain has been good too, hasn't it? So thank you guys. I'm glad you enjoyed the cards. It was fun hanging out with you guys and we will see you next Friday. Bye everybody.